Welcome back to another midweek machining video. Going to do a quick job here to make a spanner socket for a spanner nut. In this particular case, it's uh, in concert with the Voyager 1200 job because I have to do some steering head bearing work. And there's really no way to get a pin wrench or anything else around this to really give it a good torque because there's just no side clearance. So you have to come down from the top. I don't have one this size, but we're going to make it out of this piece of stock. I'm not sure what this was from. It's obviously cheap, you know, seamed tubing. It's not uh, DOM in other words. In this case, it's uh, what, probably 60 thou. So it's 1 16th inch tubing. It'll be plenty thick for what we're using it for because we don't have to put a lot of torque on this. This is just something to really snug it up real good and get the proper preload on these uh, steering head bearings. This is just barely uh, big enough, really. I may actually have to turn the inside a little bit once I cut the uh, tangs um, for the, the, the spanner you know, socket. This is going to be completely done in the mill except for any you know, lathe work. I already cut it off in the bandsaw and faced it in the lathe, but we may have to go back to the lathe and open up the inside a little bit uh, to accommodate inside there. You'll see what I mean when we get to that point. So this is going to be all mill work pretty much at this point. I could probably just grind this out. It's only a four tang or four position spanner nut and then be done with it. It'll probably work. You know, I'm not trying to overcomplicate things. I mean, when do I ever do that? Unfortunately, my tripod um, is in the dump because it broke. Only so much you can do with super glue. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the center here and we are going to take the width of this, these uh, slots that the little tang would go into for a typical spanner nut application. And we'll offset the mill off the center, depending on what the size cutter is, plus half the width of the cutter, the, the diameter, I should say. And then we'll essentially relieve these areas here. We'll relieve this, 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 and this, uh, because we're going to be cutting on either side of it. in essentially, or two axis, really, Y and X. So that's what we're going to do. It's going to be a pretty simple job. That's the objective. You'll see really what I'm talking about here as I do it. So here's what we can do here, just get it really close, is just, I have a little drill chuck in there. We'll just kind of get it close. Probably hit it with the indicator, which I got laying over there, just because I'm an anal retentive OCD person. We'll get it really close. And then instead of zero in the DRO, probably should turn that on. <laughs> I'm gonna need this one. I mean, it's not critical, but we definitely need the DRO. Well, I don't really have a good setup to use an indicator on this. I mean, I do, but I don't feel like bringing it out. So this is so, you know, it's, it's not that technical, but you can do is just take your depth side of your dial caliper. That's about 108 thou right there. And then you can do the back side if I can fit it in here. I don't even know if I can get it in the back. We'll just get close to it. It's not that critical, as I said, and see what this is. About 98. So let's bring that in a little bit more so we have a little bit more space. It's close enough. Let's check this side again. So we can just go around and do this close enough to the drill check. That's about uh, 105 on that one. Like I said, I could indicate it in, but I, I just don't feel like dragging out something that's more suitable for doing this particular setup. All right, now uh, uh, let me set the zero on the DRO. Let's do that. I'm gonna use a half inch roughing mill to make the cuts. It's not going to the moon, doesn't have to be perfect. Just need to make relief so we have the tangs left over for this. Speaking of the, the slots for those tangs, uh, let's uh, see what the width of those are. Uh, each of those is 200 thou imperial, of course. And double check another one, yep. Then what we're gonna do is look at how deep we, or how thick we need to make those tangs down. That's about uh, 300 thou. So let me write that down. 0.200 for the tang. 0.300 for the length. So now what we're going to do is just say, all right, we, we want to make them probably, well, if we make them 200 thou, they won't even fit in there. So we're going to make them probably like 180. Let's say one, let's say 190. Let's go 190. So we're going to take 190 thou for the width of the tang. All right. And then we're going to take half of that. So uh, 0.190 divided by two. And then we're going to add half the um, cutter in, which is 0.250. That's going to move us off half the width of this slot to this, this side of the cutter, right? Because the other side of the tang is going to be on this side. So we only need to do half. Okay, half that 190 is 95 thou. So if we add the 195, uh, I'm sorry, 0 0.95 to 200, that's 345 thou. That's going to be our offset. I've already moved the y-axis over. We're adjusting the y-axis, but we're going to cut on the x-axis to do these two tangs here. We got to do the depth first. Let's set a zero. And what did I say that the depth was uh, or length? 300 thou. 
Let's try just like 150 first. I don't wanna, I, I don't know how this is gonna work in here because it's only got one V block, so let's try that. All right, now we'll go down to closer to depth, 200 and let's do 250. Probably take that no problem in one cut. Well, we'll go to 300 now, finish that one up. Now we'll go 345 the other way. Well, 170, let's try that. Let's just go to full depth. This is cutting real well. Right up to 300. Of what I'm about to do. We're gonna go back to zero now. Zero, zero. So now what we wanna do is we wanna move the X over 345 thou, and then we'll cut on the Y. Why? Because we can. So now we're just gonna go 345 thou. Now on this one, all we have to do is come out. And it's gonna take all the rest of the material away, which is nice. So it was actually a pretty good choice using a half inch. So let's go down to, let's see, where should we go to? I think I said one, we're gonna take it in two passes, right? So we'll go to 150 and then 150. And we'll go to 300. It needs to be deburred, but I've been trying it here and it fits down on there pretty good. It just needs to be deburred to sit down all the way. So let me take, go ahead and take it out. I'm not gonna need to turn on any of the inside at all to provide any relief for the uh, minor diameter of the uh, distance between the slots. Let me go ahead and do that. That, <laughs> that damn roughing mill needs to be replaced. That is really dull. I didn't think it was that dull. Now here's our end result. Now you cannot get much better than that. And you certainly wouldn't get anywhere near it with a grinder and some files. As far as accuracy goes, I mean, that sucker fits perfect. I mean, it fits real, real well. And I, this is gonna work out just great. But of course we need a way to drive it. So what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna take just some junk crap I got laying around and weld it to this and then weld a socket to that. And I'll show you what I mean. I got this thing, which appears to be some sort of a mount for something. I don't know what this is for. I have had this forever. So this is ultimately gonna cap this end off. Well, actually this way. Well, I can't do it that way. I'll probably end up just, um, I think what I'm gonna end up doing is turning this major OD down so it just fits inside this. We'll bore this out a little bit and slips in there and then we'll weld it up. And the reason why I can't do this is because I do have a clearance issue with the tip of that stem coming up. That's why it has to be this deep to start with. I could do it this way and just weld the socket to the top of it, but that would look pretty gaudy. So we'll just use this as a filler and um, I'll come up with a way to do it. But we'll just open that up a little bit, turn this down, you know, to appropriate dimension and then take it from there. I'm not trying to overcomplicate it. And I know I joke about that, but I'm really not trying to do that. I'm just trying to get it so it um, looks good and works good. You know, I'm not gonna just put just anything in, in here and you know, say, oh, it's done. I wanna make it somewhat nice at least. Hell, we got the machine tools. We might as well use the damn things, right? Ah, what the hell, that's close enough. I'll just make the other piece to fit it. You know, you got a little shoulder in there too. We'll shove it down in there. Uh, you know, pretty close, make it square and then do the rest of it. Just a slip fit, that's all we care about, right? Now, what else, so I gotta get that other end off. I'll do that off camera too, we'll flip this around and I'll just turn that other end off or I'll part it or something. Damn it. Here's the socket. I turned down the end of it to get past the chrome. 
and relieve the inside so it kind of fits over this little center section. That'd be kind of cool. Not that it really matters. I am really, really rusty at welding, which is pretty self-evident by this job. Yeah, <laughs> it'll work, but it's pretty nasty looking. But uh, I can't hardly see, I swear to God, I can't see over here, but I could have gotten away with just four generous tacks on that, it would have been no problem, but you know me, I always go over the top. All right, I may have gone a smidge overboard on this, just a smidge. But yeah, I turned it back, polished it up a little bit. Not perfect, but it was never meant to be perfect. We'll just coat it with some um, oil or maybe I'll put some uh, cold blue on it or something at some, some point in time, it's not a big deal. But you can see that fits really well. It'll drive this no problem. And uh, like I said, it's not a lot of torque. It just has to be snugged up enough to get a proper preload on the steering head bearings. So yeah, I'm real happy with the way this came out. If you want to see more crap like this, stick around. Thanks for watching.